Hi and welcome to another video. In this one I want to do something a bit different. I'm not going to map at all, but instead I want to show you how to upload pictures to Wiki Commons so that other people can use them for their work or for Wikipedia or for their transition year um, work or whatever. And I think it is very important that local people upload these uh, photographs, their own work of course. Don't just download stuff from Google and upload it on Wiki Commons. That would be a breach of the licensing agreement. But uh, just go out and you you're going to take pictures anyway, wherever you go. And some of them might be nice enough and be of locations that no pictures have been uploaded. The thing is that a lot of the images of heritage sites on Wikipedia and Wiki Commons in Ireland are taken by German and Italian and French tourists. And that's very commendable. The problem is that because they lack the local knowledge, they might only get to upload them when they're back home and they might not remember exactly where they took them. I came across that um, for some photographs in Kilkenny where uh, churches had been labeled wrong. And I get it, it's confusing. There's two St. John's churches, two St. Candice's and two St. Mary's. Who wouldn't be confused? But it is important to label them correctly so they are used in the right articles and in the right context. So who better to do it than locals? So please go out, take pictures of your heritage around you and upload them to Wiki Commons. It'll be for the greater good. And I'll delve right into it. So the other day I was on a tour with a friend and we were exploring castles in Tipperary. Castles and graveyards and so on. This is not going to be a mapping video, but there is going to be a mapping element. One of the places we went to was Leek. Uh, the town is called Leek. The site is called Leith Moor Church. Churches. And you get to it on the the old Dublin Cork Road and there is a left turn if you're going to Cork which is signposted but the guidepost is completely overgrown so you have to be really aware and it's on private land like a lot of those um, but as long as you behave I think it should be fine to go there. So um, I mapped it already the first time I went there a couple of years ago and then I added a few more details this time. But as I said, this is not going to be about mapping. I just show you what it looks like on the satellite view because it is quite impressive. So we have one of the churches here. This is the later one. And you see there is actually, I didn't see that last time. There is a, like an oval shaped, probably an enclosure. And the foundations of a round tower were found uh, in the 20th century. And there's a wall around it. And you see an enclosure here and you see loads of crop marks all around. So maybe there was another church in this enclosure and then there's this, a really small church here, an early Christian church that you can get into as well. And I took some pictures. I didn't take an awful lot of pictures, like, you know, like touristy pictures. I had my, I had borrowed a 360 degree camera to do my pillory, so I did that walking down this uh, boreen here and then walking around and going into the churches because I thought that might be interesting to try out. They're not live yet. I've uploaded them two days ago, but once the video goes out, it, they will be. Um, and you can actually go up here. So you go in here, go in there, and then there's steps up to the first floor. And I took pictures like this one here. So there's the round tower and there's the older church ruin and you can see the outline of the enclosure here. And what I want to do is upload this image and the other one to Wiki Commons so people can use it for their research or their papers, um, transition year students and whatsoever. Um, so this is one of the pictures I'm going to upload. There is one um, with that motive, but I think mine is nicer. And another image of the Shila Nagi or Shila Nagik that is there in one of the archways. So it's not the best picture. Um, it's really hard to see. So you see her head here. It's kind of triangular shaped. 
and then the body. I couldn't take a better picture, I'm sorry. But there isn't a picture of that Sheila Nagy on the wiki comments, so I thought I'll just contribute. And that's what I'm going to do. So you need a an account with Wikipedia or wiki comments, it's all the same. And you go to comments.wikimedia.org and log yourself in and go to upload file on the left and you can select the file or you can just drop it so I made a folder which I called wiki comments and I will start with the round tower one and just mark it and drag it over here and you see how the background uh, gets turns blue and we'll just have to wait because my new phone takes uh, immensely big photographs. And it is useful to rename your image before you upload it into something that you can use later on. Instead of having just a generic uh, IMG for image and then the date and time when it was taken. And while this one is uploading, I'll drop the next file, which is of the Sheila. Same way, just move it with my mouse over there. And while I'm waiting for this to load, can I just introduce you quickly to Rebecca O'Neill, who is the project coordinator for the Wikimedia community in Ireland. And she has a Twitch channel, Smirky Beck, and she also has a Twitter account. And I'll link both of them below in the description if you're interested. She does, she twitches every week on various topics. I haven't tried Twitch myself and I haven't watched her do that because I think I know how to contribute to Wikipedia. But I'm sure if, if you're still trying to venture into that um, area, it'll be interesting to watch her do it and you. I'm sure you can learn a lot. I'm sure I could learn a lot, I just don't have the time um, to do it. It's a really bad excuse, but give it a try. So they're both uploaded now. And if you have more, you can just add more files. If not, just press continue. And then it, you're asked if it's your own work. And the easiest way to deal with this is really just to upload your own work. Um, so photographs you've taken and you take these and click next then. And then it takes you to a page where you have to give it a title. So the first one, I'm gonna delete the date, which will be down here again. This kind can be quite important if it is a picture, you know, not for our purposes, not for heritage, but if, if you have a picture of some, let's say a protest going on in Dublin or somewhere, it might be important to have a date on it. So this was Friday the 14th of May that I went there and um, the title I'll change to Leithmore Round Tower from above and then you have a caption and I'll just use the same again and a description um, shot taken from first floor of Younger Church in Leith Moor, Pew onto Foundations of Round Tower and Earlier Church in Background. To the left, a circular enclosure can be seen. And if you have any other languages, you can add that. I won't do that now. And then very important are the categories. I'm going to add this to the Leithmore Wikipedia page. But if someone wanted to add it, let's say, to uh, the Round Tower page, they want to be able to find it. And you do that by adding a category. So one of the categories is going to be Round Tower in Ireland. That sounds like a good category for this. And then we can also use County Tipperary. 
and monastic sites in Ireland and maybe church ruins in Ireland is that a category doesn't seem to be in tip Barbary isn't okay we'll just go with church ruins then and then we add the location I said there's gonna be a mapping element and for this you go back to your OpenStreetMap page and it is helpful if the site has already been mapped so you can locate whatever you've taken a photograph of so this is the round tower so I'm gonna right click on the round tower and click on show address and that gives me the GPS coordinates and I'll take the first one control C to copy the latitude and paste that here and then the longitude and again don't forget the minus and if you want to check you can uh, click on the pin and it'll bring up the map which is also based on OpenStreetMap so you can make sure you got the right location and then if you have any other information you can add that there and for the next one again I'll delete the date and choose it down here and then just copy the image title into the caption as well and in the description I'll put Sheila Nagy in so this is um, I've indicated it there as artwork it's in the north let's let's call it the north entrance in north entrance to southern church at Leith Moor monastic site Sheila lying sideways with her head to the south or right and categories Sheila Nagis and you see they are all over the place it doesn't seem to be a category for them in Ireland strange and what else could be a good category I'll put it under monastic sites as well monastic sites in Ireland um can't really think of anything else now and the good thing is because it is open data anyone can add more categories if they have a better clue than I have of these things so I'll just click here try to get as close as possible to the location and add the latitude and the longitude and that's it uh, by clicking publish you agree to the terms of use and you irre irrevocably agree to release your contribution under the Creative Commons CC0 license. I won't go into that, I'm sure there are videos about what all of that means out there. And then you can add items that are displayed in the picture again. Round tower. Irish Round Tower, yes. Um, church Ruin. So this describes anything you can see in the picture. Um, meadow. It's not very important, but it's in the picture. What else is in the picture? Circle or enclosure, maybe? And it gives you certain different types archaeological term for an area of land separated from the surrounding land by earthworks walls or fencing I'd say that's what I'm looking for and then that's for the first one for the round tower and for the next for the Sheila 
I'll have to do the same Sheila Nagik. Yeah, that's really the most important thing in the picture. And I will publish data for all files. And that's it then. And if I wanted to add uh, one or more of these images into the Wikipedia article, I have leave more charges here. That's the article. And it's described there and it's a national monument and you have the GPS up here in the corner and you have a picture of the round tower. And that's the other church that I forgot to take a picture of. And you see this picture was taken in 1992. So it's nice to have, you know, to have a more updated picture once in a while for some things. So I'm locked, I'm not logged in in Wikipedia for some reason. Let's just do that and I could add, see there's a, a subheading building. And I will just add a gallery and add those two images. And for that... There are probably buttons you can press for that. I just happen to know, I hope, the code. And I go back here and I use these links here. I just guess I can just copy and paste. But in the gallery feature, you don't need the square brackets. And the Sheila and um, in the um, change that commentary, I put added photographs, and I click on show preview in case I did something wrong. And that looks fine. And I'll just click on publish changes. And now they're in the article. It's as easy as that. And if you go back to Wiki Commons, because this is Wikipedia, of course, you go up to the top and click on uploads. You can see all the files you've uploaded. So I've um, recently uploaded one of the block in Clash Gani and the mass rock in Clash Gani and a gravestone, um, the Peter Delury gravestone, which I just stumbled across, and some other things, and a lot of my uploads are to do with William Robertson because I wrote an article about him. He was a Kilkenny architect in the 19th century. Yeah, 19th. And um, two images are from Germany, from um, when I went to a reopening of a church after it had been restored. I just took two pictures and I had completely forgotten about that. And that's that. It's pretty easy, I think. Um, there are probably other tutorials on YouTube about how to do that, but I just wanted to give you a quick introduction into contributing to Wiki Comments and Wikipedia. And the next video is gonna be about mapping again, and I'll see you then. Bye.